Today in 2006 Chevrolet Express van, we're going to install part number 90885 from Tekancha. Now to help us install our brake controller, we'll be using part number 37185 from Hopkins. This is our 4 pole to 7 pole adapter. We'll go ahead and start off installing the bracket for a 7 pole connector. Now it looks like there's a bracket already installed in our vehicle, so we're going to just reuse one of the holes. Then we'll use a self tapping screw to go in fresh metal for the other hole. Go ahead and take our 7 pole connector and add it to our bracket. Then we'll use the provided hardware to hold it in place. After our screws are installed, we'll go ahead and tighten them down. Now that we have our 7 pole connected, we'll go ahead and install the wiring harness. Now in this particular van, it actually has a factory wiring harness already installed. Go ahead and get it loosened up and we're good to go. Go ahead and cut the ends off of our wire to get down to fresh wire and we'll make our connections. Alright, now we got our factory tow package ready to work with. Now I'll do the same thing with our four pole here. Now if our van already had a four pole, we'd simply plug into here. But since we don't, we're just going to go ahead and remove this and use some buck connectors to make our connection. Go ahead and strip our wires back. Now the blue buck connectors that we're using is part number DW05744-5. These are Redeca heat shrink buck connectors for 16 to 14 gauge wires. Right, now we'll get the wires ready on our tow package for the van. Next we'll go ahead and work with the wires that will go to the four pole connector. This is pretty easy, we'll be matching it color for color. Brown will be a running light circuit, green will be our right turn, and yellow will be our left turn. Now purple wire is way too long, so we'll go ahead and cut off short and add a new buck connector. Our black and blue wires have some existing buck connectors, but we're going to change them out to match the other connectors we have. And these are actually heat shrink connectors. And the yellow heat shrink buck connectors we used was part number DW05745-5. This is a deck of heat shrink buck connectors for 12 to 10 gauge wire. We're using these due to the fact this is an industrial application. It gets more wear and tear than a regular private vehicle would have. So our blue wire from our 7 pole connector will match up to the blue output wire from the van's tow package. And then our black wire is for a 12 volt power supply. And our 12 volt power supply is red on our tow package. Now our last wire is a white wire, and this goes directly to ground. Now our seven pole wire already has a ring terminal connected to it, so we're actually gonna run this straight to the frame. It'll be just as good as this wire here. We can save this white wire for a future upgrade if a separate accessory needs a ground wire. All right, once all our connections are made, we'll use a heat gun to seal up our connectors. All right, now we'll use some electrical tape, just keep our wires together at this point. lucky we can tuck the wire in with the rest of the loom. Then we'll use a large self-tapping screw to go right to our cross member for ground. At this point we'll go ahead and zip tie our wires to make sure they're safe and secure and out of the way. We're done with the back end of the van. Now we'll go up front and meet the dash on the driver's side. We'll go ahead and look for a tow package underneath the dash. On this wire harness right here behind the brake pedal towards the left side, and we'll just go ahead and just kind of break the tape and pull it out. There's our wire harness. We got four wires here, which works out great because we have four wires hook up on the brake controller. All right, just like before, we'll go ahead and cut our wires even and strip them back, and we'll install some regular buck connectors. Now we'll go ahead and get the wire harness from our brake controller. Before we start working with it, we'll go ahead and keep the wires together using some loom material. We'll be using part number 459075-1. We'll go ahead and set this aside for now, and we'll go ahead and install our buck connectors on our wiring from the tow package. Now these buck connectors come with the brake controller. 
We'll use the large yellow ones for large wires and the blue small ones for small wires. And the really thin wires, I like to fold them over and then crimp them. Let's go ahead and start connecting our wires up. A red wire with the white, with the white stripe will be a 12 volt power supply. So that'll hook up to black going to the brake controller. Our output from our brake controller will be blue to blue. This light blue is our brake signal, so I'll go to our red wire. And our black wire is ground, so I'll go to white on our brake controller. We'll go ahead and use some tape to bundle up our wire. And then we'll go ahead and set it aside and work on our bracket for our brake controller. Now we need to find a location for our brake controller pocket. Typically the, the pocket will get installed in this general area. So we'll use the sheet metal screw that comes with it and we'll attach it to the dash. Of course you want to make sure there's nothing behind it before you drill. We've got one screw in. We'll go ahead and set the brake controller in there. Make sure it's in a straight line with the vehicle. Then we'll install the second screw. Now I'll take our wire harness, plug it to the back side of our pocket, then we'll plug it into the brake controller. Then we'll go ahead and zip tie our wire, make sure it's safe and out of the way. But it's a good idea to leave some slack, so if you're willing to disconnect it, you can. Got everything hooked up. You see we already have power to it. So we'll go ahead and hit the manual override. And it shows NC for no connection because there's not a trailer hooked up. All right, so at this point, we'll go ahead and hook up a trailer to it, make sure it works. In this case, our trailer will be a tester. All right, now we have a trailer plugged in. We can see we have a C for connection. Now we'll hit the manual override to make sure it works. So we got numbers, so that shows that it's working. Now we'll go ahead and hit the brake pedal, and we'll see if some numbers show up there. So that means we got signal from our brake pedal. So it looks like everything is ready to go. And with everything working, that'll finish it for our install. Part number 90885, the Progy P2 brake controller on our 2006 Chevrolet Express van.